What's up with you guys? You know who it is. It's your boy, John Mike. And today I have something really, really cool uh, to show you. Of course, I'm on my whole new MacBook Pro tip with my touch bar and all of those good things like that. But I want to show you an app today called MIDI Touch Bar. Uh, and basically what it is, is an app that turns your touch bar on your MacBook Pro with touch bar um, to a MIDI controller. It turns it into a MIDI controller. So you can actually use these functions uh, to control things in apps like Ableton, Cubase, um, uh, so on and so forth. They even have a dedicated like control surface mode that you can put it in where you can do pans and sands and all of those different things like that. So it's pretty dope. Uh, and how you can use this and how it can work for uh, different situations or what have you. So as you saw on the front end, I was like launching clips off from the touch bar and controlling volumes uh, and things like that. And that's just one of the many, th many things that you can do with this particular application. You can have layouts and all of that kind of set out uh, and you can line out your entire touch bar with different um, layouts. Uh, so to speak, uh, and I'm going to show you that here in the tail end, you know, in the middle, mid part of this video, once we kind of get into how to set it up, I'll show you how to actually set up your different, um, uh, your different, you know, layouts or what have you and edit this or what have you and, and get it installed to work for Ableton, which is one of the main reasons why I did it. I think it's really, really dope, really, really cool how they kind of got this working like that. So, all right, uh, let's jump into it. I'm going to start and I'm going to show you exactly how to set it up. So let's jump into it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to go ahead and install the whole MIDI touch bar thing or what have you on your computer. What you're going to do is once you go to the link in the description, click on here where it says MIDI touch bar. You're going to click download and download it. Then you're going to go here to Ableton Live. Right click on it inside of your applications folder. Don't do it in the dock. It's not going to work. Got to be in the applications folder. Hit show package contents. We're going to double click on contents. Then we're going to go into app resources. And we're looking for this folder right here that says MIDI remote scripts. I'm going to open that up. Or you don't have to really open it up. You can just leave it here. It's up to you all in your workflow. Inside of the folder that you downloaded for MIDI touch bar, you're going to go to for Ableton Live users. You're going to grab this folder that says MIDI touch bar. And then you're going to, sorry, this force touch trackpad is really, I'm so used to pressing so hard. Uh, go to and put it in there. Put it in that folder that says MIDI remote scripts. And that's really all you got to do. Now you open up Ableton. Okay, so um, here inside of Ableton, what you're going to want to do is to ensure that you have MIDI. Go into preferences, go to link in MIDI, and you'll see MIDI touch bar surface and maybe touch bar user just turn remote on on both of those to make sure that you got it kind of covered so here's the fun part you're going to go in here to mini uh touch bar icon up here at the top and let's just go to customize touch bar so it's going to pull up a screen that looks kind of like this uh and you can now customize the things on the touch bar so if i move my mouse like down here to the touch bar area i can actually say okay i'm going to take this off Take that off. Take these plus ones. You, know, you got to play stop button. That could be useful. We'll leave that in there. But you also got pads here. So that's what I'm really kind of interested in is to bring these pads down here. So we'll bring all kind of eight pads, three, you know, four, five. And we'll kind of move that back here, you know. Six, seven, and eight. And this is just one of the layouts you can kind of have uh, here or what have you, which is pretty cool. Uh, so we'll keep that for right now. We'll hit done. And now I've got these, you know, pads here. So now all I got to do is go into MIDI mode and then hit here. And I can assign each one of these pads or these little you know, numbers to my sections here, which is pretty dope, in my opinion, uh, to be able to control it. I mean, you know, we used to do the one, two, three, four, five. Now we can just do the, you know, actually do these pads here. And it's a little bit more of an intuitive way of kind of doing things. 
you know, as opposed to just using your numbers. But here's where it gets really, really dope, where you can actually uh, create different layouts. So you have a three, these little four faders pop up button, four faders, two faders, yada, yada, yada. These are different modes you can put in. So like, for instance, let's say I want to access four different faders. I'll put that right here. And that's my pop up option for those two faders or what have you. And let's say I want another option where I can get uh, 10 pads. I can drop that in there as three. Uh, and we may want another pop-up, another option just for the transport controls. And we'll just drop those right there. Okay, seems pretty simple, right? So if I hit done, then I get these little things right here. But if I want to now access my faders, I'll hit the two. And now I have four faders here that I can map and assign to different things. So I can go into MIDI mode and I can click here on this and move this fader. Now that's mapped there. Click here, hit that fader and that's mapped there. So now I can control the volumes on that on those faders right there. Uh, and then when I need to go back to my pads, I can hit here and now I've got my pads, my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pads. Pretty, pretty dope. Touch of a button, very useful way to get your your um your touch bar moving inside of Ableton. So I can hit the play button and now I got all of my transport controls. I think this is really it for the touch bar. This right here sealed the deal. This one application right here was enough for me to make enough to make me further pull the trigger. There were several reasons that made me pull the trigger on this, but this application was one of them. I was like, yo, that's pretty cool being able to, to find some use for this actual touch bar thing. Uh, I think it's really, really cool. So again, this is just an awesome way to like map and control Ableton all from the touch bar. Uh, I think it kind of almost, and just in my opinion now, don't shoot me, uh, but it almost eliminates the need for a actual control surface if you can do everything here because the control surface is so you can be tactile. You can reach for a knob, reach for a fader, and some people may still prefer that. But I think it's really, really cool that I can actually control this from um, the touch bar and I can hit here and I can get, um, you know, a whole list of buttons to, to map uh, for my uh, for my sets or what have you. So I think it's really cool. I think that's really, really cool. Like a really, really cool way of doing things. So I'm going to be doing some advanced videos on this and really once I can get into it and really deal with it uh, some more. I'll do some more videos that will really dig deeper into it. All right, folks. So, well, you know how we do. Hit that subscribe button, that like button, all those buttons that do things on the video. We'll see y'all on the next joint. I'm out. Holla at your boy.